Hi, right, man. D, Footballville, Caneville. See the football real shirt, man. Make the play 707 jumped off yesterday. West Palm. Shout out to all the winners. They got a bag. They got a bag. We gave them money. Go check out the IG. They got big checks, big bags. They walked out of there. The ones who won their divisions, they got their money back. Um, so check it out. Make a play 707. February 6th going down in Atlanta Stadium. Um, get locked in, man. 10U, 12U, 14U, 15U, Varsity. Also, Shout out to the member of the week, E1K. I see you out there, bro. Um, E1K, member of the week. Name should pop up down there somewhere on the scroll. Um, appreciate you, man. Appreciate all the members. Um, and I hope you, you all appreciate what we do for y'all. The community section, that's where you find the member stuff. The community section for everybody that's watching. That's where you find posts discussions, polls that we got. You got a community section in the YouTube. Um, we see if Tuan put something up there to show you how the community section works. But the community section is also where the members can find their exclusive content that can't nobody see but the members. Um, I see we got 50 some members and I don't see, I don't always see 50 members in there looking in the community section. So go check it out, man. That's, that's where your goal at for, for the members. All right, transfer portal. We got a segment called Transfer Portal. We started. Um, we're gonna start talking about Transfer Portal because it's very interesting what's going on with the Transfer Portal. And I've been talking to a lot, a lot of coaches and people involved with high school and college sports, and and they're trying to figure out like the trans, what the NCAA has done with the Transfer Portal. They brought us the, they came out with the Transfer Portal which seemed to be a great idea. Then they, they, COVID happened and they told, hey, seniors, why don't y'all come on back? And for the, foods, the schools that can afford it, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna, they're gonna bring everybody back they could. I guess maybe hoping that, they, that the NCAA up the scholarships. Um, but some schools, like some HBCUs, some smaller schools, they're telling, they're telling players, listen, man, if you ain't all conference, if you're an all conference player, you're not a baller, we're not having you back because they probably can't afford it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, the, but the thing with the transfer portal is, is, okay, so you got seniors coming back. You got hundreds of kids in the transfer portal. Some, there's some fire in the transfer portal too now. Some fire, and we're going to talk about a few kids in the transfer portal. You got hundreds of kids in the transfer portal. Now it's almost like the NCAA has free agency. It's like free agency for college kids. Um, I think they just announced that kids can, uh, everybody can transfer, everybody that transferred this year can play, right? They just announced that. So, so it's, it's almost like the NCAA has created free agency, sort of, sort of, without the money part in college football. But the question is, where does that put the high school kids? Like, what, where does that put the high school kids? There's a lot of kids out here should have been recruited, don't have a place to go. There's usually always a lot in South Florida, but there's more now. Uh, I hear some kids thinking about going prep school, just playing another year of high school, places like True Prep Academy and other places like that. Um, but the question is, like, let me know in the comment section below what y'all what what you, what you think. What are they asking? The, what, what are they asking? What are they doing to the high school kids? Are they asking the high school kids to go to JUCO if you're not good enough to come straight to college and play like you're not a straight baller? Go to JUCO, get you a year or two, get bigger, faster, and stronger. Then you come to college football. Maybe they're trying to create a situation where the college football product is better because it's getting uh, older or. Bigger, the elite are the elite kids because if you've got to go to JUCO to play, you're going to come out bigger, faster, stronger. Then you go to college and go get on their platform. Uh, if you're getting took straight out of high school, then that means you must be, you must be a straight baller because uh, it's, it's less spots for kids on rosters as we speak now. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below, man. What do you guys think is going on with the NCAA? high school kids, what, what's their goal? Um, because most of the time, institutions like that do things, they're calculated. Now, when they wrote, when they came up with the agent NBA thing a, a couple years ago and LeBron 
and LeBron boy wrote the letter and they had to back off. Now they didn't calculate that. So that led us into the NCAA then that they sometimes they just douche. They get their emotions, they get their feelings, and they just douche. But for the most part, you would think that they've calculated an idea of what they're trying to do. And um, a lot a lot of people are trying to figure it out. Um, but like I said, it's some fire in, in the transfer portal. It, it is some fire in the transfer portal. One kid you guys need to go check out is 63 Safety, Tulsa, Lamar Mullins. Um, coming out of Georgia, kind of tweaked his ankle, um, end up going to Tulsa. Um, I think he was headed bigger than that. Kid's a straight baller, you know what I'm saying? A straight baller, 6'3", 2'5". I showed the film to a couple of a couple of former NFL players, and um, one of them thought that he was, they was like, what, he injured in the draft? I was like, no, man, he got two more years left. He's trying to, <laughs> he trying to transfer. Lamar Mullen, safety out of Tulsa. Uh, another kid, interesting kid, um, Cornelia Cousin, who was uh, in talks with Miami, um, with, uh, Key Lawrence out of Tennessee, he jumped in the transfer portal, um, and a, a screenshot came out of Mike Rump, Saying yeah, yeah, I know another kid I had and didn't get help with. Backstory of, of, of Mike Rump, who's now what, what is it, a recruiting court? What are you, recruiting coordinator or something now? Something like that. <laughs> Backstory: uh, Mike Rump always got killed by the fans for not getting top cornerbacks, and it's starting to come out that listen, it wasn't completely Mike Rump's fault. Maybe that wasn't his area that was being recruited. Uh, maybe somebody was appointed certain areas so they can so they can get all the good kids from the, the good private schools or certain things are starting to swirl rumors are starting to swirl but Mike Rump uh, if the tweet was real is <laughs> had some choice words maybe for for not for anybody on the staff maybe for a guy that left maybe maybe for coach that left who, who knows who it was for um, who, who knows who it was for um, but yeah that's another kid uh, Miami Killing it in the transfer portal. I mean, every year. I mean, Miami. Miami got some of the best free agency negotiators out there. Must be something going on. I mean, <laughs> they, they get Tyreek Stevens, once top cornerback. He was the number one cornerback in the nation. Or close. He was up there. He was on somebody list. Coming out of high school, they pulled him out the transfer portal. Uh, pulled a kid from Tennessee out the transfer portal. Uh, got got a wide receiver from Oklahoma. Out the transfer portal, Rambo. So my Miami kills the transfer portal, man. I don't even. Uh, you might stop seeing Miami at high schools all all together <laughs> before, before it's over with. So they transfer portal crazy, and I get it. Why not? Yeah, why not get a kid that understands college football? He's got on the field, so you know he did everything he had to do to get on the field. He went through the workouts, got his grades. He was on the field. He's bigger, faster, stronger. Why not? The NCAA has created that. And high school kids are going to um, not benefit from it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> they will not benefit from it. it it's, it's going to hold a lot of kids back and, and it's just put more, it, it just put more, it's made it that much harder for them to try to achieve their goals, which was already pretty hard in the first place when you start talking about percentages, who makes it D1, who goes to the NFL. Um, so yeah, man, transfer portal, man. We're gonna stay on the transfer portal. We're gonna talk about it, give you guys updates um, every now and then. But I'm D, man. Footballville, Caneville. We out. Oh,